Mulakaya, Wikipedia article audio. Mulakaya, Mulakiya, Malokaya, Malokaya, Mulakaya, Malokiya, or Moraheya is the leaves of Korshorus oleatorius commonly known as Jews Mallow, Nalta Jute, or Tasa Jute. It is used as a vegetable. It is popular in Middle East, East African and North African countries. Mulakaya is rather bitter, and when boiled, the resulting liquid is a thick, highly mucilaginous broth, it is often described as slimy, rather like cooked okra. Mulakaya is generally eaten cooked, not raw, and is most frequently turned into a kind of soup or stew, typically bearing the same name as the vegetable in the local language. Traditionally mulakaya is cooked with chicken or at least chicken stock for flavor and is served with white rice, accompanied with lemon or lime. Origins Egyptian cuisine Palestinian cuisine Kenyan cuisine Tunisian cuisine Cypriot cuisine North Levantine cuisine West African Cuisines Nutrition Ancient References Notes While most scholars are of the opinion that Mulakaya's origins lie in ancient Egypt, there is evidence that India is the source of the related species Corsorus capsularis, which is also used for food as well as fiber. As used in Egyptian cuisine, Malokaya, is prepared by removing the central spine from the leaves, and then chopping the leaves finely with garlic and coriander. The dish generally includes some sort of meat, in Egypt this is usually poultry such as chicken, or rabbit, but lamb is preferred when available, particularly in Cairo. Cooks in Alexandria often opt to use shrimp in the soup while Port said is famous for using fish. Malokaya was consumed in ancient Egyptian cuisine, where the name Malokaya is thought to have originated from. Many Egyptians consider Malokaya to be the national dish of Egypt along with full metamis and kishari. The Egyptian version differs in texture and preparation from the Syrian-slash-Lebanese version. The malokaya leaves are picked off the stem, often communally with the women sitting with vast amounts of tall stemmed branches picking it, placing the leaves on a large sheet left to completely dry for later use. The leaves are chopped fine, often with a mezzaluna, and then fried with coriander, garlic, and often chili peppers or capsicum. This cooking process prevents them from becoming slimy. It is then boiled with large chunks of meat, such as boneless chicken, rabbit, beef, or lamb. The soup is served on white rice or with a side of Egyptian flat bread. The bread is normally used to scoop up the soup, but it can also be cut up into small pieces and submerged in the soup. The dish is often accompanied with an assortment of pickled vegetables known as torshi or mikalil in Egypt. The standard Malokaya dish in the Levant is prepared by cooking a meat of some sort in a separate pot by boiling. Later onions and garlic are cooked to a simmer, then water and chicken stock cubes are added to form a broth. After boiling, the cooked chicken or meat and Malokaya leaves are added and further cooked another 15 minutes. Palestinians will serve Malokaya on a bed of rice topped with vermicelli noodles, and lemon juice and flat bread on the side. The Palestinians Bedouins have an old tradition of cooking a different version of the dish. A whole chicken is cut open, the intestines removed, and the innards stuffed with herbs, spices, and raw rice then sewn shut with thick thread. The chicken is then boiled to create the broth for the Malokaya soup which, after preparation, is served as five separate components, the malokaya soup, Arabic flat bread, the chicken, 
additional plain rice in a small bowl with a mixture of lemon juice and sliced chili. The soup is mixed with rice and lemon juice according to taste, while the chicken is eaten on a separate plate. In Kenya, the dish is known as mutara, murmur, apot, mrenda, and several other native language names. It is a very popular vegetable dish among communities in the western region and in Nyanza region. Both regions are in the area around Lake Victoria. The jute leaves are separated from the stems, washed and then boiled in lightly salted water with ligati, or munyu. The leaves are boiled with other leafy vegetables such as likuvi leaves or mito to reduce its sliminess and help soften the other vegetable leaves. In some cases, after boiling for about 30 minutes, the vegetables are stewed with tomatoes and onions in oil. Spices such as curry, pepper, masala, or coriander are optional. Mutara is served with ugali and can be accompanied with meat or chicken. In Tunisia, the dish is generally prepared quite differently from the Egyptian method. The leaves, already separated from the stems are dried then ground to produce a very fine powder and stored in jars or other tightly closed containers. In Tunisian cooking, mulukya, or mulukya, takes five to seven hours to prepare, which is often done to halfway in the evening and completed in the morning. The powder is prepared with olive oil and some tomato paste into a sauce, not soup, and big chunks of chuck beef are often added halfway through cooking. The dark green sauce simmers on low heat and is left to thicken to the consistency of tomato sauce. The sauce is served in small deep plates with a piece of beef and eaten with preferably white hearty French or Italian bread. In certain regions where beef is not common, Lamb is used but cooks for a much shorter time. In Cyprus the dish is known as molohiyaya. It is popular among the Turkish Cypriots. The jute leaves are cultivated and grown in the spring months leading up to the summer wherein they are harvested and the leaves are separated from the stem and dried whole. Cooked in a tomato-based broth with onions and garlic. Lamb on the bone or chicken with bone may also be added. For optimal results lemon and potato are also used to help keep the consistency from becoming too mucilaginous or slimy. It is served with a nice broth consistency with sourdough bread. North Levantine cuisine differs from the remaining style in that the leaves are generally used whole, lending a different texture to the dish. Also. In northern Lebanon, a dish called Mlukiyi Bizite is made using fresh leaves and shoots of the Nalta jute plant, cooked in olive oil, onions, garlic, tomatoes, and chili peppers. It is a popular summer side dish, especially in many Yadaniya and Akar districts. The leaf is a common food in many tropical West African countries. It is believed that the drip tips on the leaves serve to shed excess water from the leaf from the heavy rains in the tropics. In Sierra Leone it is called crencre, and is eaten in a palm oil sauce served with rice or cassava fufu, or is steamed and mixed into rice just before eating a non-palm oil sauce. The leaves are rich in beta-carotene, iron, calcium, vitamin C, and more than 32 vitamins minerals and trace elements. The plant has a potent antioxidant activity with a significant alpha tocopherol equivalent vitamin E. The word for the plant is found in ancient Mediterranean languages such as Hebrew and Greek. Cognates of the word include ancient Greek mu alpha lambda chieta or mu omicron lambda chieta, modern Greek mu omicron lambda chi alpha, modern Arabic, and modern Hebrew. Al Hakim by Amr al banned Mulukaya sometime during his reign. It is claimed he thought that the dish would lead women to debauchery.